Hello there, welcome to SAS TV. So in this video, we will learn how we can download Visual Studio 2019. So yeah, let's get started. To download Visual Studio 2019, we will search Visual Studio 2019 download. The first link that pops up is the place from where we are going to download the Visual Studio. So there are two ways to download. The first one being uh, you can type the same thing in the search bar, Google search bar, or you can find the link in the description of our YouTube video and you can directly click the link. So, okay, uh, Visual Studio 2019 comes in three different versions. The first one being community, the second one being professional and third one being enterprise. So uh, professional and enterprise are like uh, for free tiles. You can use it for seven days for free and after that you have to buy it. Professional is for people who are working in an organization and enterprise is basically for individuals. Uh, I would prefer community because you, you know you don't have to buy the whole pack and you can get everything that is there uh, in professional and enterprise but it's free. So yeah, we will download community version. So I click on free download. This download should be starting soon. Yes, so we click on keep and yes, so we have the Visual Studio Community Installer. So we will open this and the Visual Studio Installer is getting downloaded. I mean, sorry, it is getting installed. So yeah, let us see. Okay, it will take some time to install the Visual Studio Installer. Once this is done, once the Visual Studio Installer has been installed, we can then move it, move to install visual studio to community 2019 so okay i'll skip this part to directly uh, the place where it was installed so see you there so here it is the visual studio installer has been downloaded and installed that's it the installer has been installed so here we have the installer opened now the second thing to do is we have to download the uh, we have to install the community version so uh, yeah we will get these options to choose so pr normally i prefer uh, choosing uh, web development and other stuff in c sharp so yeah we will choose this as your development i normally don't uh, code on python and node.js so for now we'll skip it in case we want to install it later, we can again come back in the installer and reinstall. So yeah, it's not a problem if we do it later. I'll select this one. Um, anything else from here? Nope, I guess. Okay, nothing from gaming part. Okay, in from here, uh, I guess I'll select this one. Cross platform development and this one. So okay, so yeah. We have selected all the things that we want. If you want to uh, add any anything extra, you can simply uh, select the check boxes here. So this is the place where the Visual Studio 2019 will get installed. Uh, this is the space you'd be, you'd be needing to install it. So yep, 11.73 uh, GB. Make sure you have the space in the desired location you want to install. Once that's done, so we will simply click install. Okay. Now this will take a bit of time. Uh, I guess again we have to skip. You can see it for now like it says 2.72 GB and like this will install 11.73 GB. It will first download and then install. So it will take a much, much time. Let's skip this part directly to the place where it will get installed. See you there. As we can see the download is 100% complete and the installation is 99% complete. So it might end up soon. Let's give it a minute. Okay, so it's taking more time than usual. So okay, let's skip this video again to the part where it get finished. Okay, that's it. 100% installation done. Okay, so let's launch the Visual Studio Community 2019 now. So I click launch yes there we go the visual studio is launching so that's how we install visual studio 2019 so the interface of 2019 is a bit new compared to 2017 let's just wait and see the surprise okay so yeah for this one uh, we can either sign in using our email id or we can just skip it for now for now i'll skip it so i'll click not now maybe later
and I normally prefer the dark theme so I will select this one the development settings I prefer general only so I will select general so okay clicking on start visual studio and it might launch the visual studio 2019 so it is about to launch we might see it as soon as possible there we have it so this is how it looks the front screen the first screen of visual studio 2019 okay now let's get back so yep uh, if you want to um, work on api development basically in dotnet core the latest version that is uh, compatible with 2019 so the best one will be to go with the latest one dotnet core 3.1 sdk so yeah let us see how we can download that also so we'll just type dotnet core sdk 3.1 download so once we search it this is the link the first one we will be, we will be going inside so this link will be available in the description box as well you can get it directly from there or you can type it the same way i have done and you can download so in uh, .NET Core 3.1, the latest version is this one. Um, the version is 3.1.10 and the SDK 3.1404. So uh, my operating system is Windows and I have 64 bits. So I will click this one. Once I click, the file will try to get downloaded. I will click keep and yep. So there we have it. It's getting downloaded. Once the download is complete, we will see how we can install it. It's very easy though, but still let us see. Let's give it a moment to get it downloaded. There we have it. So the .NET SDK has been downloaded. We will open this. We'll click on install. We have to click on yes. So it will take some time to download this is the entire processing screen though it's fast for the first 50 percentage let's just hope it's that fast for the other 50 also okay it is fast okay it is about to get installed so yep probably 90% now okay more 5% I believe come on .NET Core SDK be fast let's just skip it to the part where it gets uh, installed so there we have it the .NET Core SDK 3.1.404 version successfully installed so that's it that's how you download Visual Studio 2019 free of cost and also the .NET Core SDK 3.1.404 version Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.